I'm here in the old university library, and I have the pleasure of looking at the silver Bible, the Gothic Bible from Bishop Ulfila. So this goes back to the 5th or 6th century, and uh, after a very complicated journey, it ended up here in Sweden as part of uh, the booty, uh, the war booty from the Thirty Years' War. So it came from Germany, and uh, this is it. It's on parchment, and uh, sorry, the light flickers a little, but uh, it's written in silver and gold ink, so this is why it's hard to read. And let's see whether I can zoom in a little bit. Here we go. So, and it's written in Gothic, in the Gothic alphabet. Very few documents are in, in Gothic uh, alphabet have survived, and uh, the language is extinct by now. So, uh, yes, yes, what's up? Yes, we can go in a minute, but let me admire this book here for a second. So, sorry, I have uh, family pressures here. Uh, anyway, so this is uh, the silver ink that was used, and here's golden ink that was used on this page and here you see the gothic letters and um, it's not a complete bible and it's also i think only about 50 percent of the original document that is actually here in Uppsala but uh, you can get an idea and given that this is uh, well over a thousand years old it's quite an amazing document of a language that's now extinct so here uh, there's a little display of course and uh, the uh, Gothic kingdom in northern Italy here, that was the source, and uh, it was probably written in Ravenna, the Silver Bible, and then it moved to Germany, and then via some complicated rearrangements, it ended up in Sweden. Then it actually left Sweden again, and it came back to Sweden, and um, it's going back to the Ostrogoth, and uh, it was probably uh, written for Theodoric, King Theodoric the Great, and... Um, this is how the alphabet, the Gothic alphabet, would have looked like. And it's one of the oldest Germanic languages. And here's actually part of the cover. I presume this is a little younger. But that's the basic story. And uh, I'm going to close with uh, a little look at this, uh, this part here. So this is how it came in a little box. And a last look here. What an amazing document. Quite a strange aura here. Being that close to such a document does feel a little, I don't know, eerie, I guess. Well, thank you very much for the attention. And I hope you enjoyed a little look at the Gothic, the Wolfilla Bible or the Silver Bible. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.